was late at night. I was in a rough part of the forest. Everyone was drunk on blackberries and high on cabbage. The chickens couldn't settle down, and the cats were stalking mice. With tensions rising, a fight broke out between two wild and crazed partygoers. At first, it was just shouting, but then the claws came out, and I couldn't stand idly by. Using my Taekwondo Kung Fu Tai Chi training that I learned from watching The Seven Samurai, I somersaulted into the fray to break up the gladiators and send them back to their respective corners. While risking my life, I was brutally slashed across the face, leaving a scar that looks remarkably similar to a dermatologist's incision when removing a tiny speck of cancer, which did not spread. I am now scarred for life. And at this point, you may be saying to yourself, Maybe it's time Paul stopped casting himself as a romantically sardonic lover in his feature films. But I say to you, why be so judgmental? Disfigured people need love, too. The last opportunity to see me before this transformation is Professor Tom Fullery Saves the Planet, which is releasing this fall. In my next feature film, Charlie Gets Screwed. I'm not kidding, that's the real title. I will be proudly displaying the frailty of being a man. The point is, one never knows when you might be breaking up a fight in the forest or have a spot of cancer show up, which is why it's vital that everyone have easily affordable health care with no pre-existing conditions, no outrageous co-pays, and no extortionary insurance premiums. You know, I'm only in this bathtub because Charles Barnett dogged me so long about doing more tub talks. <laughs>